Yo, what is going on guys? It is me, Jolts, and welcome back to another video here on the channel, guys. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to do the D-Machina Easter Egg on Round 8 Solo. Now, I will be showing you guys how to do this Easter Egg on Round 8, but I will not be going in depth with all the Easter Egg steps. Now, if you guys don't know how to get all four Wonder Weapon variants for the D-Shockwave, go ahead and check out my tutorials for them. I'll put a card up on the screen right now, and the link will be inside the description. Now, just a heads up, guys, the RNG for this can be extremely frustrating. Also, if you guys have any questions that I did not cover in this video, go ahead and feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I'll make sure I answer all of them. So I hope you guys do enjoy them. With that being said, let's jump straight into this tutorial. Now, first off, for your creator class, you want to put on the knife and you want to put on the Ether Shroud Field Upgrade. Now, the Ether Shroud has to be tier 3 for everything to work. Now, once you spawn in, you want to go ahead and knife all the zombies until the end of round 4. Now, obviously, you do not want to pick up a nuke unless it's at the end of a round because you do want to maximize your points. Now, at the end of round 4, save a zombie and make your way into Noct via the side that leads to the crash site. Now, once you're inside of Noct, go ahead and kill the last zombie and go to round 5. Once you're in round 5, you want to do the same thing as rounds 1 through 4. However, you do want to go ahead and rebuild some barriers. Try and get around 200 points from rebuilding barriers and save about 3 or 4 zombies and go ahead and make your way to power. Whenever you're on your way to power, make sure you prone in front of all 3 perks along the way. Those being Stamina, Juggernaut, and Speed Cola. That way, so you can just get an extra 300 points. Now go ahead and turn on power, and just know, whenever you turn on power, you have about 25 minutes to finish this easter egg. This is because Treyarch has a 10 minute timer on the zombies before they bleed out and you go into the next round automatically. Now once you turn on power, go ahead and open up Pack-a-Punch as well. And also, every trip that you make into the Dark Aether, you want to go ahead and be shooting crystals along the way. You want to do this so you can maximize your points and possibly get free perks or a free D shockwave, which is very important for this easter egg. Also, if you cannot get a free weapon from the crystals at this point, before you open Pack-a-Punch, I would recommend that you hit the mystery box once to get a weapon. You need this weapon to do the Coffin Dance Easter Egg later on. Once you open up Pack-a-Punch, go ahead and shoot 4 orbs for the Coffin Dance Easter Egg. Leave the 5th one be for the time being. Now go to the Anomaly and craft the Aether Scope. Now in case you guys don't know, there is a certain way that you can tell where the first part is. If the Anomaly is on top of Noct, the first part will be in Spawn. If the Anomaly is inside of the Power Room, then the first part will be in the Pack-a-Punch Room. And finally, if the Anomaly is in the Pond Area, the first part will be in the Crash Site. Now after you grab the part that's inside of the Pack-a-Punch Room, go ahead and go into the Weapons Lab and go ahead and kill the dog right in front of the gas tank. Now as long as the dog was close enough to the gas tank, this will work, believe it or not. Now once you're out of the Dark Aether, go ahead and knife all the dogs for maximum points. And go ahead and craft the Aether Scope. Now once you craft the Aether Scope, go ahead and pick it up and do the Ghost Step fast. And what I mean by fast is go ahead and activate the first ghost and immediately go into the second one. Do not listen to the dialogue. Keep in mind that if you do listen to the dialogue, the timer that is on the zombie until he bleeds out will keep ticking down. Once you activate the third and final ghost, make your way into the pond area and shoot some crystals. Now you want to go into the pond area specifically so you can get the red megaton, I think he's called the Mayak, whatever you want to call him. You want to go ahead and try and get him to shoot the tree for the cryo emitter upgrade. Now if you can't get him to shoot the tree, that's fine, don't worry about it, you'll have another chance to do this. Once you see that you're about to get sucked out of the dark ether, make your way back into the med bay and activate the computer to finish this step. Now you want to go ahead and shoot the fifth and final orb for the coffin dance easter egg. Now make sure the zombie is outside of the pack a punch room because this may be a glitch, but I'm pretty sure it's meant to be like this. If the zombie is inside of the Pack-a-Punch room whenever you teleport into the Coffin Dance Easter Egg, the round will flip, regardless of how many zombies you have. But if he's outside of the Pack-a-Punch room, the round will not flip. Like I said, this may be a glitch and it could be just a pure coincidence, but every time that he was not in the Pack-a-Punch room, the round never flipped for me. Now once you're inside of the Coffin Dance Easter Egg, go ahead and go up top and go ahead and shoot some crystals. Do you guys remember whenever I said that the RNG for this can be extremely frustrating? Well this is what I was talking about. If you do not get the Wonder Weapon, the D-Shockwave from the Coffin Dance Easter Egg, you have to restart. Now if you do not get it from the Coffin Dance Easter Egg, you can go ahead and try and get it from the Mystery Box from the points that you have saved up, but it's very rare that you will on this low of a round. So if you do not get the D-Shockwave by this point, you have to restart. Next up, you have to upgrade all four Wonder Weapons. Now the round will probably end around this time, so you have to be super fast in doing all four of these. Like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, if you guys don't know how to upgrade all four of these, I will put a link to my tutorials in the description down below. First off, go on top of Noct and shoot the crate for the Cryo Emitter upgrade. Next up, go ahead and suck in the canister from outside the map for the Nova 5 variant upgrade. Now if you guys have around 3500 points at this point in time, go ahead and buy stamina. This will help a lot for the Electro Bolt upgrade. Once you do that, go ahead and activate the Palm Anomaly and go ahead and go into the crash site and pick up the fuse. Go into the weapons lab and place the fuse down and also place the canister inside the gas tank. Pick the gas tank back up and you already have two of them done. Once you're out of the Dark Aether, go ahead and go back into the Dark Aether via the Anomaly underneath the Pack-a-Punch stairs. Doing this will allow you to do the Electro Bolt upgrade. 
Now I would recommend doing the three gold crystals in this order. Do the knocked one first, then do the pond one, then finally do the crash light one last. Now once you're out of the dark ether, go ahead and grab the electro bolt if you've managed to upgrade it in time. And go ahead and shoot the corresponding tube thing in the med bay. Now if you were able to get the Mayak to shoot the tree, go ahead and pick up the flask and put it under the tree now. Now go ahead and grab the Nova 5 variant and do the exact same thing that you did with the electro bolt. Go ahead and shoot the corresponding tube thing in the med bay. Go ahead and pick up the thermophasic variant and pick up the flask as well if you already have that done. Make your way back into the med bay and shoot the red part of the tube with your thermophasic. Craft the cryo emitter and go ahead and shoot the final tube. At this point you want to end the round. Now as long as you did everything like I told you to do, at this point in time you will get a megaton to spawn in. If you cannot get the Mayak to shoot the tree, go ahead and get the megaton to shoot the tree now. Once you shoot the tree, go ahead and place the flask underneath the tree. Now at this point in time you want to go ahead and split the megaton but do not kill the split megaton zombies. You want to go ahead and save those. Also, if you were not able to fully upgrade the Electro Bolt variant last round, you want to go ahead and do that now. Now, if the anomaly is not there, do not panic. Just kill a couple zombies and eventually it'll respawn. Now, obviously this goes without saying, but at this point in time, you guys do not want to pick up a nuke. Now, go ahead and take the Electro Bolt and the Cryo Emitter and shoot the last two things on the tube. And once all four legs of the tube are shot, there will be a new anomaly in the hallway in between the armor stand and the med bay. Go ahead and go into the Dark Ether with that anomaly, and in front of the Type 63 wall by, there will be a new anomaly. Go ahead and activate that ghost. Now if you guys don't have stamina up at this point in time, you guys can go up and go ahead and shoot some crystals and get some points. But if you already have stamina up, don't worry about it. This isn't necessary. Once you're out of the Dark Ether, go in front of where you activated that anomaly, and the Dark Ether wrench will be on the ground. Go ahead and pick up that wrench, make your way into spawn, and go ahead and use the wrench on this tank three times. Now a zombie will pop out of the tank. Go ahead and kill the zombie, and throw a C4 on top of the tank as you see me do here. Now do not activate the C4 yet, what you guys want to do is you guys want to take the zombie away from the tank so he doesn't get blown up and killed by the C4. Once he's far enough away, go ahead and detonate the C4 and the C4 will activate the tank and the tank will shoot the tree dropping the decontamination device. Now you want to go ahead and take the decontamination device and you want to place it in this panel in front of where you picked up the dark ether wrench. Once you do that, go ahead and bring the split megaton zombies underneath the tube and both of them will get sucked up. Now as you guys can see, I was a little bit too slow in the round flip to my game. I was not too happy about it, trust me. Now at this point you want to go ahead and activate the same computer that you activated to enter the password for the ghost step. Now whenever this little cutscene's playing, go ahead and take a look at what round you're on. If you guys are still on round 7, then this will be a round 8 easter egg completion. If you guys are a little too slow like I was in the round flipped, then you guys will be on round 8 and this will be a round 9 easter egg completion for you. Once you can get out of that hallway, go ahead and go to Noct and go ahead and activate this last anomaly right here. Now go ahead and activate the last ghost that's right in front of the 1911 wall by. Once you do that, go ahead and get out of here because zombies will still come after you in this anomaly. If you guys don't have ether shroud at this point, go ahead and try and kill some zombies, but make sure you do not flip the round. Once that ghost is done talking, go ahead and pick up the picture and it'll teleport you into the boss fight. Once you teleport it into the boss fight arena, go ahead and pick up some armor and make your way in front of the barrier in front of the weapons lab. This is where the tier 3 ether shroud comes into play. Now line up your crosshairs exactly where I do here and go ahead and pop your ether shroud. If you did it correctly, you will be teleported outside of the boss fight arena. Now if I was you, I would still take the normal route just so you don't get hit by either a death barrier or by one of the invisible blue floating things that pops up after the boss fight. Now make your way into the pond area and go ahead and train up the zombies. Kill them if you need to, but I wouldn't if I was you. Now if you guys look at the taskbar underneath the mini map, it will be going unbelievably fast. In total, it'll take him about a minute to finish everything he has to do. But once the white flash appears, you know that he's done. It'll take about a minute for the helicopter to get there because the game still thinks that you're in the pack a bunch room doing this boss fight legitimately. But after about a minute or so, the helicopter will come down, you'll be able to board the helicopter, and congratulations, you have done the D Machina Easter egg on round 8 solo. So that's gonna do it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you are new. It turns out that over 62% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you're in that 62%, do me a huge favor and subscribe. Also, make sure you guys check out my streams. I stream almost every day. I've been streaming my Dark Ether Camo Grind. I've been streaming High Rounds. I've been streaming Easter Eggs. I'm just streaming just about everything Cold War Zombies right now. And also, if you guys have any other video ideas, let me know down below in the comments. And if I like the idea, I will make it a video and I will credit you guys in that video. Lastly, I just want to thank everyone for tuning into my videos and my streams. I really do appreciate it, guys, and it's only up from here. The grind will continue. So, hope you guys did enjoy. And with that being said, this is Jolts signing out. Peace!